Got another question on the AS enthalpy changes topic, and as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so part A is a classic calorimetry experiment. So we've got all this information about a reaction between these two chemicals. One's in excess. Uh, they're mixed together in a polystyrene cup, and we've basically got to find the enthalpy change for the reaction. So the first thing we do is work out the energy transferred from the reaction into the solution using the Kutel's MC delta T expression. So M is the combined volumes, 100 cm cubed. So from the density being um, the same as water, that'll be 100 grams. Specific heat capacity of the solution, again, is the same as water, so that's 4.18. The delta T, just the difference between those two temperatures, 10.5 degrees C. So in terms of joules, we get 4389, but we're going to put it straight into kilojoules, 4.389 kilojoules. Next thing we do is work out the moles of lead nitrate. Uh, remember, the Ki is in excess, so it's the moles of lead nitrate, concentration times volume in decimeters cubed, 0.075. So the enthalpy change for the reaction is the kilojoules divided by the moles, minus, because the temperature went up, 58.52 is your calculator value, and an appropriate number of significant figures would be 3, because all the other data is to 3, so minus 58.5 kilojoules per mole. Moving on to part B, so there's the equation again. The ionic equation for that reaction with state symbols, well you can see that the two aqueous nitrate ions will cancel, so they don't appear in the final uh, ionic equation. The two potassium ions aqueous, they will also cancel. So we're left with um, Pb2 plus aqueous plus 2i minus aqueous gives PBI2 solid. And just make sure your state symbols are really clear. Sometimes solids can look like gases. And for the final part of the question, so we already worked out in the, in the first part A, there's 0.075 moles of lead nitrate. So the moles of Ki needed for exact uh, reaction would be double that from the ratio, so 0.15. So to find the extra 10%, so I've just multiplied 0.15 by 1.1. So that's how many moles we'd need of the Ki to have effectively 110% worth of moles. So that means the concentration of the Ki solution needs to be the moles divided by the volume. Remember we use 50 centimetres cubed, so that comes out at 3.30 moles per decimetres cubed.